Hi, Redeemer. Donovan here. Um, I want to drop a quick video to address the question, what does a pastor do? One of our key strategies over the next season uh, with our Go5 strategy is what we're calling Go Team. And our goal there is to, by God's grace, double the pastoral team. Um, and we're seeing some momentum there. We're thanking God for that. So I pray that that would continue. So, but what does a pastor do? What, what do these guys do? What we bring these guys in to join a team of guys that will lead the church. Um, and so there's a lot to this, and we could talk for hours about this. But let me give you a quick summary of how we think through this at Redeemer. Uh, number one, I would say they, uh, they follow Jesus, and then they lead the church. Uh, so following Jesus, um, this is where Paul exhorts Timothy. Uh, Paul's a pastor, a church planner, and he exhorts Timothy, uh, who's also a pastor and a uh, church planner, it seems, that uh, to watch himself and his doctrine. And so what we gain from that is that, um, you know, pastoral, becoming a pastor, be a pastoral team, does not, is not an arrival. Uh, this is definitely a call. That's something God calls you to, and you prepare, and you, in one sense, arrive at that. But it's not an arrival in the sense that you're finished. Uh, we continue growing. And so we watch ourselves, watch our doctrine. That means that we continue to follow Jesus, to repent of sin, to um, grow in affections for God and His church and His mission, and to try to grow in conformity to Christ. That's watching ourselves and watching our doctrine is to continue sharpening, continue learning, uh, be learners, be readers, uh, to, commit, to continue to submit our learning and our teaching to the authority of the, the other elders in the church um, and continue to watch that. So we have to watch ourselves, right? It's, that's us following Jesus and then leading the church because we can't lead the church where we're not going. Um, and leading the church, I generally break into two categories, uh, which I would say are leading at the table and leading on the ground. So leading at the table is this idea of getting together with the other pastors and making decisions, praying and discerning the Lord's direction in terms of what our strategy is, um, what ministries we should have or launch or get rid of, um, different policies, uh, whether or not we should have a building, or whether or not we're going to go multi-site, whether or not we plan a church, church discipline, and it's getting together on a weekly basis, uh, talking about strategy, uh, talking about what's going on in the church, praying for the church, uh, being in the scriptures together. We get together at the table. We lead at the table. Uh, but that's not it. That would not be sufficient in my mind. That would just be kind of what a, would be called a boardroom elder. And we don't want to just be decision makers. We need to be connected to people because primarily we're pastor shepherds to be involved with people. And that's now we go out and lead on the ground. And uh, in our context, it looks in various ways, but particularly... Uh, the first place to start is pastors will lead a community group, and that's where we have uh, a small flock of people that we believe God has called us to, to love and to lead and try to help them grow. Um, and additionally, in addition to community groups, staff pastors particularly, because they have more time to dedicate to the work of the church, they'll do other things like I, I do preaching and church planning, some vision, different things. and. Glenn does community groups and Dirk does music and so this is where you start to see some specialization. So um, there you have it. There's a lot more that can be said about that. Um, like I said, I'd love to sit down and talk to you and provide resources and if you believe that God's calling you to be a pastor, whether it be as a uh, someone who's on staff or someone who's volunteering uh, or to play at church one day, I'd love to talk with you about that. So thanks for tuning in. Hop over to YouTube, watch some of our other videos. And um, let us know if you have any questions, anything you'd like us to answer, or you can send me a message, and I'd love to talk about that. All right? Have a good day.